In today's tutorial, we're going to be preparing an image for another tutorial that we'll be doing later on. And in this one, we'll be using the pen tool to cut out this board here. And then we're going to make this board look a little bit older and also broken on the edges. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is get your image from a stock photography site or if you prefer to shoot your own but I'm going to go ahead and grab it from Stock Exchange, this website right here. It's sxc.hu, and it will bring you to this website right here. This is where I get um, a few images for the next tutorial, including this one. Okay, let's use the pen tool. But before we do that, actually, before we go cutting this out with the pen tool, Let's go ahead and clean it up a little bit by pressing the crop tool, which is C, or it's this fifth one down here on the toolbar. And let's go ahead and drag and click over, let go, and then to commit your changes, just press enter or double click. Okay, now we're ready to cut it out using the pen tool. So go ahead and grab the pen tool, which is P, and let's click once there and then go around the corner about to here and I just realized that you can't probably see it that well so what I'm going to do is zoom in and by pressing control zero that'll fit the image to the artboard and then go ahead and come about here click the second point and drag over you want to get nice and around the edge here and then let go once you have it. And if your handle goes into the board like this, what you want to do is press Alt, and you'll get a little carrot next to the pen tool, and just click over that point. And that'll get rid of that handle and bring it back to the point. So we're going to do the same thing over here. Just click once here, and then go around the corner and click again. And then go ahead and press Alt, click and here same thing press alt click and you're going to want to take your time maybe even zoom in further but for the sake of demonstration I'm just going to do it like this alt click and then to close it up You'll get a little circle next to the pen tool once you hold it over the last point, which also is your beginning point, and just click. Okay, once we have that, you'll see this outline here. That is a path. What you want to do is save that path in case you need to come back and, and keep it for some reason. So you want to go over here to the path palette over here, and you notice this work path. If you don't do anything, it'll mean it's temporary and it'll delete after you close it. So let's go ahead and just double click it, name it board, and press enter, and there you go. Okay, and then we'll just go, yeah, we'll just actually come here and press control, click, and that'll make it a selection, and go back to the layers palette, and then go ahead and press control J what that'll do is pop it up onto the new layer whatever your selection was and if I shut the background off you'll see um, my board that I just cut out so you'll notice this one's not as good you want to take more time and make sure that you have a nice looking board for our next tutorial and so after we do that, let's go ahead and make the, the board look like it's been kind of stomped on the end and broken in half. So like a natural jagged cut and not a cut with a saw. So we're going to go ahead and grab our lasso tool, this third one, by either clicking here or as you see the hotkey L. Okay. And we're going to make start here by holding down the mouse button and then just dragging like this and you're just gonna do like quick little jagged cuts but you also want to 
<laughs> kind of take your time at the same time. Make sure you have a nice, good selection here. And if you want to move it back or whatever, you can just nudge it over with the arrows, nudge it up, or you can come inside the selection and you see the little marquee box there. You can also click and drag. So what I'm going to do here is just press backspace or delete and we will have our jagged cut selection and we'll press control D to deselect that and we're going to do it on this other side too. Again, you want to make sure you have some good cuts. Don't go too quick like I am. Again, for demonstration purposes, though, I'm just going to go this fast. And nudge it over if you need to. Press Delete or Backspace, Control D, and there you have it. That's your board. What we want to do next is change the hue saturation levels so to make it look a little bit older, um, but deeper, darker, dirtier. Um, so we want to change the hue saturation. So come down here, press hue saturation, and in CS3 and older, you get a dialog box in the middle. With CS4, you'll get it over here on the side with the rest of the panels. And we want to click this check check box for colorize. And in the hue, we're going to make it 35 and for the saturation 22 and lightness negative 34. And there we go. Whoops. <laughs> I missed saturation. No wonder it looks a little off. So we're going to make sure that's 22 in the saturation. And there we go. Okay, and then you can just merge it down or keep it like the. I would actually save this file and then um, go ahead and merge the layer after making a duplication. You can do duplication by going up here to image and duplicate, and you can name this board or you can even leave it the same thing. And if you want to merge these layers, this one into layer one, just press Control E and that will merge it in and then we can use this board to um, make it into our next tutorial which you'll I think you'll like so stick around um, and hopefully this was helpful for you